Hi, I am Elin from Mayo Clinic, and I'm here at EHA 2025 uh, to share with you some of the data that we will be presenting from analysis from CARTITUDE clinical trials using SILTA cell in patients with uh, relapse refractory multiple myeloma. So we do know from ASCO this year, very exciting data presented that uh, from the first CARTITUDE 1 clinical trial in patients in late line therapy for myeloma, those who received SOTA cell, close to one third of the patients have remained in remission more than five years out. So that's very exciting results to see. But what we also know is that with this particular CAR-T, we can see some uncommon side effects that could have serious manifestations. And that would be with IEC, immune effector cell, so CAR-T cell associated cranial nerve palsy or Parkinsonism. And these typically come on after, close to the end of month one after infusion, up to about six months being the most common time frame. Although months two, months three is where we see the, the most common presentation. Um, and these are times when patients have returned home uh, and are being followed by their local hematologist, oncologist. So it's a side effect that's very important to recognize early for early intervention to potentially reduce the symptoms. So what we wanted to, to learn is how can we identify the risk factors and are there ways we can reduce the likelihood of this to occur? Now, what we have seen with the earlier study is these can be on average up to 4% of the patients, but just by reducing myeloma disease burden at the time of CAR-T infusion, the risk can go down to 2% uh, or less. So we wanted to identify associated factor to potentially reduce that risk further. And what we have seen across the CARTITUDE clinical trials, so both CARTITUDE 1 and CARTITUDE 4 and 2, which are done in earlier line therapies, the expansion of the lymphocyte count in the first two weeks, which correspond to the expansion of CAR T cells, it's the strongest associated risk factor for developing these um, neurotoxicities later. We saw that in the CAR T2 trials. We also saw that in the real world uh, experience at Mayo Clinic with patients who received FDA approved CAR T. So we're hoping to use that information to say, okay, if these are the patients who would be at increased risk are there things that could be done during that early time period to further reduce the risk factor? So we, in, in many centers uh, across the U.S., as well as in the clinical trials for SOTA cell, are currently trying a very short duration uh, course, three days or so of steroid, to see if by reducing that expansion of the CAR T cells at that time, would it help reduce the risk of these late neurotoxicity? So that is something that we'll need to wait and see and hopefully be able to share at upcoming Congresses.